Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio. I'm down here on the floor in front of the rack so I can show you one of my favorite pieces of gear, the Symmetrix 501 RMS Compressor Limiter. A lot of people say that the Symmetrix 501s with the gray knobs or the metal toggle switches sound better than these later ones like this one that was made in 1999. I've never really heard anything wrong with the way this sounds and it kind of comes close to a Valley Dynamite which I used to have one of those not quite as nasty sounding but it it does give you that good exciting compression that you expect and it sounds really good on a variety of sources I've also used it on a bus for some parallel compression many times if like a drum sub mix that kind of thing so let me show you some close-ups of this thing, front and back, which means I have to climb back behind the rack to film it because I'm not going to take it out of here disconnected. But close-ups, and then we'll hear it on some sources. It's the front panel of the Symmetrix 501 Peak RMS Compressor Limiter. Threshold with an active LED, the attack control, the switch for automatic or manual attack or release ratio and the stereo side chain selector switches the peak limiter and then your output gain knob and you've got a really nice clip LED and you've got a 10 segment meter for gain reduction here's the back of the Symmetrix 501 side chain stereo connection there's the input and output on quarter inch and XLR balance connections now it's time for some examples you didn't think I wasn't gonna do some examples running some stuff through this did you first of all I've got bass guitar this is a PV foundation bass using an art preamp I'm going to start out by playing a bass line through the Symmetrix 501. That's on manual mode. We're getting 4 to 6 dB of compression. Ratio is at about, I guess, 4.5. a fast bass line so I've got a fairly quick release kind of a fast attack too since it's so percussive check out what happens when I put this thing in automatic mode yeah that works really well let's compress it a little harder up the output a little bit it can't handle it but then you put it in automatic mode and it just handles the bass you can still hear the attack but it's nice and smooth now the next example I've got for you is a 1967 Ludwig kick drum with a Remo batter head and an Aquarian resonant head with an Audix D6 microphone using a Soundtracks Topaz console preamp. And now we're gonna run it through the 501 and see what that sounds like. On kick drum, I have a fairly slow attack on the compressor so I don't lose the attack of the kick drum. And I like a faster release, but I'm gonna adjust it here in real time. Right about there. I like the output section on this. It adds a little bit of color to the sound. You push this up.
Let's try it in automatic mode on the kick drum. Yeah, that's not what I want on the kick drum. I like my settings better on that for sure. But it worked great on the bass guitar. The next and final example I have to run through the Symmetrix 501 compressor for you is a snare drum. In this case, it is a DW Piccolo snare. It had an Evans coated head on it. I don't have the drum anymore, so I can't put a picture of this one. But I chose this track because there wasn't a lot of bleed on the snare mic, so we can get a better, more uncluttered picture of what the Symmetrix 501 sounds like on a snare drum. Okay, let's hear some snare drum. I've got just a pretty good basic snare sound dialed in on here to start with and then I'm just going to turn the knobs in real time. Change over to kind of a fast release. You can hear that really brings up the snares. I like to get it where it's compressing around 6dB and fine tune the attack and release just right. Right about there. Let's see what it does on auto mode now. I like my settings better. I'm really nuke it now. Well, I hope you enjoy getting to see more about one of my favorite pieces of gear, the Symmetrix 501 RMS Compressor Limiter. Had some good examples for you and all that, and I really had a good time doing this video. So I hope you liked it too. Remember, if you want to support this channel, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel. You can also check the description for various links to music that I've released. I've got a Spreadshirt t-shirt store with some shirts like this one, and this one, and like a tote bag or something too like that. So you can go and get all that cool Twin Creek Audio stuff. You can listen to any of the releases that are in the description. And that all helps support this channel. Appreciate you watching. Hope you all have an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having. Have a good one. I need to get off this floor because my knees are hurting.